Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to get Android 2.2, which is called Froyo, on your Motorola Droid right now, instead of having to wait for Motorola to send it out sometime in the future, quote unquote. Um, if you're not already there, head over to TheUnlocker.com, spell like that in the address bar, and search for our how to get Android 2.2 on your Motorola Droid right now. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to root your Motorola Droid, um, if you haven't already done so. Uh, so there's a link right there to take you to our step-by-step -step procedure on how to root the Motorola Droid. Do that procedure and then come back to this one once you're done. Next thing you need to do is you need to flash a custom recovery image. Um, so you'll do our how to load a custom ROM procedure, very simple. Um, and you can actually stop after you finish section two. You don't have to flash a custom ROM. We just need the, the custom recovery image in order to continue. So once you've done section two, up to section two, uh, then you can come back to this procedure and we can continue. Okay, so there's two things that we're gonna flash onto the phone. One is the Nandroid backup of Android 2.2, which we're gonna use the recovery image to, to flash that. The second thing is a kernel. Um, the kernel controls the clock speed and a few other things. Um, one of the things that we care about is that it enables Wi-Fi because for some reason uh, Wi-Fi wasn't working in Android 2.2 because of uh, security reasons. Um, so you need to first download Android 2.2 then Android Backup by clicking on that link there and saving it somewhere on your computer. Also unzip it and there should be a folder with a bunch of numbers, looks like a date uh, inside. Then you need to download the kernel of your choice. Now you can choose any of those kernels there, uh, they all run pretty well. If you want to be on the safe side, just do the 800 megahertz kernel, the very top one. Uh, if you're feeling adventurous and you want to overclock your droid, then you can choose any of the other ones. Uh, you can always flash a different kernel afterwards. So if you do the 1.2 gigahertz and you decide it's not very stable, you want to go back to the 900 or the 800, you can do that later. Um, so pick whichever one you want, save that also to your computer. Do not unzip it, leave it as a zip file. Uh, and then we can continue. Okay, so while those files are downloading, we are going to make a backup. So we're going to turn off our phone. Then we're gonna turn it back on by holding down the X button and power at the same time. And keep holding them. So you get to the recovery screen here. Okay, and then we're gonna use the D-pad to scroll down and select an Android, and then select backup, and wait for it to backup. Okay, so once it tells you the backup is complete, we are going to, oops, going to use the D-pad to select reboot system now, and wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, once the phone's back on, we're going to plug it in to our computer, the USB, and then we're going to mount the USB, or mount the SD card so that we can transfer stuff by USB. Okay, so now we're going to take uh, our extracted Android 2.2 and Android folder, we're going to open it, and we're going to take the folder that's inside that has a, a date, it looks like, on it, and we're going to control C to copy that, and then we're going to go over to our memory card. We're going to click on Clockwork Mod and you'll see Backup and you'll see another folder or yeah folder that looks just like the other one. In the same section we're going to paste. So now we have two folders and we're going to wait for that to transfer. Okay then we're going to find the kernel file that we downloaded. I'm going to use the 800 megahertz for this and we're not going to unzip it. We're just going to grab it, drag it over to the micro SD card and put it not in any folder, just on the SD card itself. So that the path is just removable disk and then the folder. Okay, now it's done, we can unplug the phone. And we're gonna turn it off. And then we're gonna turn it back on by holding down X and power. And we're gonna keep holding it until we get our recovery screen. Okay, now on the recovery screen, we're gonna scroll down to Android. 
scroll down to restore and then we're going to select the folder that we just saved there so it's 2.10.06.05 and we're going to wait for that to restore okay once it's done backing up I mean restoring we're going to scroll down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and flash our kernel should say install complete rather quickly I'm going to push the power button to get back to the main menu and click reboot system now and wait for the phone to reboot okay once you're done you should be on Android 2.2 enjoy Okay, so now that you have 2.2, the next thing you should probably do is install the Flash APK so you can have Adobe Flash in your browser. Um, on our site, click on that link to download the APK file, save it somewhere to your computer, and then continue. Okay, while you're downloading the APK file, go on your phone, hit Menu, Settings, go to Applications, and then Unknown Sources, make sure it is checked on, click OK, and then hit Home and we continue. Okay, next thing we need to do is we need to plug in the phone via USB. And then we're going to mount the USB. Okay, next we're going to take the Adobe Flash Player .apk, and we're going to copy it over to our micro SD that we just mounted. Not inside any folders. We're just going to put it on the SD card itself, so that the path is removable disk and the file itself. Okay, now on the phone, we're going to turn off USB storage. We're going to unplug the USB cable. We're going to go to the market. And we are going to search for the word Linda. Okay, and we're going to get the Linda file manager, which is free not the application manager but the file manager and we're going to click install and we're going to wait for that to download and install okay once it's installed we're going to click on it to open it we're going to click SD card and scroll all the way down to our Adobe Flash Player APK we're going to click install and wait for it to finish installing. Okay, once you're done, you now have Android 2.2 and full flash support. Enjoy.